Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a couple ways that we can create square corners for an inset inside of Blender. So the end result is going to look something like this, where you inset the edges inward, and then we actually end up with a square corners on each of the four corners of that inset. Um, alternatively, another way that I'll show you is using the mirror modifier, and we can get very similar results uh, to what we have there. So by default, if we go create a new plane here, and I go into tab mode, and then we're going to inset this, um, you of course end up with these diagonal lines that would make it very hard to say, uh, extrapolate each of the corners upwards because there really is no corner, it's a diagonal line. So this ends up being a problem for us if we can't deal with this being a diagonal line and we actually need a square box here that we can extrapolate or play around with in some other way. So one way that we can get around this is using the knife tool, which you select with K. And we're going to go zoom in on each of these four corners. And hitting C is going to enable angle constraints. So when I try to pull this knife tool in a certain direction, it's going to be making 45 degree angles. So in this case, we want a perfect 90 degree angle on this cut. So it makes it very easy to actually achieve that. We cut between one point and the, uh, the area where we actually want the second point to end up with. We go back into knife tool. We do the same thing. Make sure you enable angle constraint. And you can see the white line, which makes it very obvious what you're doing. And at that point, we've actually created one corner. So we need to do that same thing with each of these other three corners. So the proper way to get rid of this edge without deleting the face is going to be doing a limited dissolve. So hit X on your keyboard, and then you can select limited dissolve. And that's just going to pull that edge out of there while remaining with the face. So just repeat that same process with the other three corners. So knife tool, C for angle constraint, put your two lines in there select the diagonal line and dissolve it, and you've got a corner. Now, uh, that methodology is fine, except you do have to repeat yourself four times. So another option would be to use a mirror modifier. So here you can see I've got the mirror modifier enabled. If we disable it, uh, we have one corner. So really, we only needed to make two cuts alongside here, and to multiply that four times to get a square box that has four square corners that we can play around with. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to make a table, this would be pretty useful. You can kind of see pretty obviously why there. So let's go ahead and recreate that over here as well. So I'm going to add in a plane. Or, well, in object mode, I'm going to add in a plane. Hit tab to go into edit mode. Um, and uh, let's see, we can just start by going ahead and adding a mirror modifier. And I'm going to mirror this on X and Y axes, enable clipping. And I'm just going to pull these edges to the center, um, that center point right there, so that it's just going to mirror the four corners. So if I enable adjust edit cage to modify a result, that's going to show everything inside of the edit mode. So I can disable that if I want. And uh, if you hit tab to exit back into object mode, you can see it's still just a plane. It just has the mirror modifier enabled. So now we just need to add in a couple of these uh, loop cuts. So in order to get this precise so that it's exactly where we want, we can type in the edge slide. But in this case, what we actually want is negative 0.8 so that it's going in the opposite direction. And now if we want to create an uh, equal line on the y-axis, we just add another edge loop in here. So I believe that that's going to be negative 0.8 in the y, and that's actually incorrect. It's 0.8. So in order to add that equal line in, we're going to do the same thing just in the y-axis. And edge slide 0.8. Make sure you have the right positive or negative there. And then you end up with your four corners over there. Um, and this actually sets you up even better for the long run if you are going to be doing something like a table where the whole object or part of it is mirror modified because all you all need to do is work on one corner and you affect all of the corners. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, changing an inset diagonal line into square corners that you can work with. 
So I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Hi, friend Chris. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on my channel for future Blender content.